A Chesterfield man is proving the journey is more important than the destination. In his latest I Have a Story, Greg McQuaid and photographer Cole Pearson introduce us to a man driven to perfection when it comes to the sound of music. And while I was designing it and building it, I knew it was going to take time. Ken Fritz lives in relative obscurity. One of a kind. There is nobody like him in the world. But in the new documentary, One Man's Dream. He's the smartest guy I've ever known. <laughs> The world will watch, or rather hear, what makes this man from Chesterfield tick. I'm Ken Fritz, and I believe I've built the best stereo system in the world. With an engineer's mind and dogged determination. These are ScanSpeak 7-inch Kevlar cone drivers. Ken's dream started taking shape in his backyard 30 years ago. Now the signal to the amplifier comes from the Krell Active crossovers down here. There are three of them. Just walking through the door and seeing everything, forget not even hearing it, but just seeing it, the jaw goes down to the floor. Ken's creation makes audiophiles melt with envy. Paul Gibson lent Ken his carpentry skills from the beginning. It was pretty much like a gutted house room when we went in there because we had scaffolding set up in there for three years. He wanted to build the best sounding system in the best room that he could. All his own. Betsy Logan can't remember a time when her father was not striving toward his goal. He built this. Bill, everything is done himself. Everything. We can to achieve pristine acoustics, Ken designed a 17-foot ceiling that mirrors a concert hall in Osaka, Japan. And it's nice to be able to use your God-given talents in a way that, that showcases what, you, what you're able to do. 35,000 watts, 9-foot tall speakers, and a 1,500-pound turntable later, Ken can finally hear his vision. Nothing better than, than having a dream and taking the time and energy and ability to follow it through. From classic rock to classical, the music so pure, so perfect, listeners are moved to tears. So being able to design a system with no holds barred was great. The 79-year-old imagined of years of soaking in songs alone or with friends. But the time is, is, is here now to enjoy what, what I've been working for. But Ken's long-term plans are skipping a big beat. My right hand. It felt a little weak, so I went to the doctor. He said, well, you have ALS. You need to get your affairs in order. ALS, a disease that slowly robs a patient of muscle function. But no, I can't get my arms up higher than this. Life expectancy, three to five years, and there's no known cure. It's progressive. They don't know what causes it, don't know how to stop it. Since his diagnosis in 2018, Ken's movements are slowing by the month. It's harder to eat, but I do the best I can. But his ears and mind remain sharp. I never go to bed thinking, I feel like hell. I wish the day was over. That never happened. Uh, it's, it's hard to explain, you know. It's, uh, <clears throat> you know, to uh, work all your life and get to the point where you are ready to sit down and enjoy what you've done, and then this happens. It's hard, you know, quite emotional. Ken hopes that someone will cherish his custom stereo system long after he is gone. The best goals are those you work for over a long period of time. I think, I think he's the legacy. I think what, what it took for him to create this yeah. is what the legacy is. For someone who works yeah. with their hands, ALS may be the cruelest of fates. This is a, uh, I, I've had to control a 20 terabyte hard drive I have. But to Ken, his condition is a blessing. Taking advantage of all my time now to be with the people I love, to do the things I want to do. Life has meant a whole lot more to me 
after I had the disease. With his dream a reality, this conductor can finally take a bow. Without music, life is meaningless. As the man behind Mr. Fritz's opus. My mother always said everything happens for the bell. In the past three years, in the next few years, I'm going to be the best of my life. 